Hello everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer. And I'm Marble Z. And welcome to Gauntlet. Which is a game that, at least I, this is the kind of game I usually don't play on my channel. But this is a special case for me. Yes. Because I'm a sucker for nostalgia. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So if nobody knows, um, this was an older game that... Uh, actually, when did it first come out? In arcade? I think so. It was like in the 80s. Yeah, something like that. And then they made a, a remake on the PS1, and uh, I played mm -hmm. that one a lot. And yeah, so I, I'm just really glad they remade it. And it's actually really fun. Yeah, we actually played it quite a bit so that we can pretend we're competent. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll, I'll still die plenty of times, so uh, that provides entertainment value. But at least we know what's going on in the game. Exactly. At least we know what's going on. Let's start from the first level. Okay, that sounds good. We did first four levels. Each level is roughly 20 minutes. Yeah. So let's go into the first one. Alrighty. And there are four classes in the game, divided into two categories that I just completely made up. The wizard and the other three classes. <laughs> the wizard and the other three classes, exactly. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Yeah, the wizard is rather tough, and as uh, Marbisir, uh, you know, pointed out, it was kind of like um, in Magicka. You can just queue up a bunch of different uh, attacks and stuff like that. Yep, and combine various elements. Yes. And it's pretty tough. Very tough to actually control. But where did that crown go? Especially on the keyboard. Are you actually playing with the gamepad? Yeah, I'm playing with the gamepad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried the wizard with the keyboard and mouse, and it was pretty damn tough. It, it was even tough with the gamepad, trust me. Yeah. It was not easy at all. So, the game is actually fairly straightforward when it comes to gameplay. There are spawners, there are keys, and there's gold. Pretty <laughs> much. On the most basic <laughs> level. Yeah, and uh, I, I really think it was that simple back when it was, you mm -hmm. know, when it first came out as well. Yeah. And gold is actually useful for something other than score, because that goes right at the start. Yeah, you can actually equip different shot. things. Yeah. And I am actually using some items that I already bought. Actually, I'll use this. And I'll probably get two of them. Yep, that's one of them. <laughs> and this is one of, uh, one of the ones that he used, and I, I have to have it. It's just perfect. <laughs> it really um, is. There are actually quite a few interesting items in the game. Yes, and you'll show off one of yours a little bit later, right? Mm -hmm. Also, for difficult levels, and we're playing on normal. Yes, we're playing on normal right now. And we didn't try the harder ones. <laughs> nope, we didn't even attempt it. We were, <laughs> I was dying enough on the, uh, this level. <laughs> this one is definitely hard enough right on the start. Right. Those bombs are really effective. And so far from my limited experience, this game is so much more fun in multiplayer than solo. Absolutely. These types of games usually are. Playing single player is alright, but it's just fun to, you know, mess around with your friends. And there aren't actually that many good cooperative games when you think about it. No, not like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy that this exists, actually. I am too. They changed the style up a little bit from the the one that was on the PS1, and, and I think the ways the keys, I mean, they made all the keys work for all doors, which I believe yeah. that was part of the, the trick in um, the older Gauntlet, is that you had to try to find the right keys. So it was more like a puzzle game. Um, but this one is more like a hack and slash, and you know what, it's, it's still pretty fun. I don't remember a whole lot about the old Gauntlet. It's been too long for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember, though, that they did have different keys depending on what doors you mm -hmm. wanted to go into and stuff like that. So there was a little bit more of a puzzle element in those games. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh-oh. No, no, no. Oh, and this is something that's very easy to miss. The cracked wall. We are yeah, supposed I, to destroy that. With are the they going to respawn? Piles. Oh, there we go. Oh. If we get a barrel. <laughs> I, wonder if yeah. your, uh, I wonder if your <laughs> bomb actually sets it off. Mm, oh, I think it does. Right, you're right. There we go. Fortunately, they respawn. <laughs> yes. Oh, crap. <laughs> no! Also, it seems you can die as many times as you like in multiplayer, as long as at least one person is alive. Yeah, yeah, we don't know exactly if there's a level. We see something in the top right, but we don't exactly know what it is. Um, haven't yet figured that one out. Might be like team deaths or something, but... We've only ever died, 
you know, together once. Yep. But we are close to dying more than that. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Especially when um, uh, the ghost comes around. Oh yeah, that's the second part of every level. Yeah, and, and that's just, uh, you get in some tight squeezes with that one. But I do have to say, they really nailed the pace of the game. They did. It's not, not too fast, not too slow, it, it's perfect. It really is. Now, I, I can't remember much about the pace in the older gauntlets, but, um, yeah, I, I really, I don't know if they were that fast or not. And the classes play very differently. I mostly played the warrior and the elf. Yeah, they, they really do. Like, um, I, I, I like the melee classes a little bit more than the range. Mm -hmm. um, it's, just, it's a very, very different playthrough. I really like the dodging mechanic of the elf and the bomb. Yes. The bomb is really effective. Ooh, money! Warrior smashed the food into tiny pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> there we go. So these items that we can actually buy for gold give you special abilities. Yes. But you can't use them all the time. You actually have to find mana as you play. And you start with zero. Yeah. These are the little bottles on the bottom. In fact, there's one blue one in this room over here that we can see. So I can use one. Oh! There I go. And one thing I like is that you, when you resurrect in multiplayer, you don't resurrect where you're tied, but where your other team members are. Yeah, I, I think if you left off where you died, it would be a little bit, um, yeah. a little bit hard, especially on the ghost. Especially missions. on the part with the ghost. Yeah, exactly. Right, I'm going to use the gargoyle. It's actually an updated gargoyle. Oh, you did. And his, and his projectiles explode when they hit the target. Well, obviously he didn't like um, explosions because he died when that thing exploded mm -hmm. next to him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have to say, I didn't try the higher difficulty levels, so I have no idea how much harder this is on the highest oh, one. God, I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely wouldn't be able to survive long. But as a result, I can't really comment on how satisfied with the difficulty, like, hardcore arcade players will be. Yeah. I have no idea. Because I'm not an arcade player. No, I'm not either. But I do like playing some of these games from time to time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, me too. I'm just not super confident at them. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> and I don't try to be. Yeah, me neither. Okay, so that's all done. Oh! I like how they kill each other with their explosions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the spikes actually kill the zombies, though. So yeah, <laughs> the spikes. We found out a little bit later. <laughs> there we go. And some of the monsters stole your ability later. <laughs> What's that? So some of the monsters stole your ability later. Oh, yeah. Rude. <laughs> Which actually killed me once, because I thought that's you, and that was a monster <laughs> using the wind wind. <laughs> Yeah, he walked right next to him, thinking it was me. It was yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. There's no friendly fire, though, so my bombs do not damage you. Yeah, yeah, thankfully. <laughs> that would be more interesting. <laughs> it would add a different element. In fact, there might be Maybe some way to do it. Maybe higher difficulty level. <laughs> Actually, I was just thinking, they might have that on a higher difficulty level. Yep, and of course, the magical tip, don't drink and drive from Gauntlet. Because <laughs> that has so much relevance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the second part where we'll get a ghost yes. trying to kill us. In fact, it's coming right now! But he won't follow us constantly, he just spawns and despawns. Yeah, and if we go inside that blue, he will automatically kill us. So we really don't want to slow down for too long. Yep. But on the other hand, it also means that no matter how fast we move through the level, the ghost is always a threat, because he just keeps spawning right behind you. Right. Just like right now. <laughs> yep. So I actually kind of like that. And he is pretty easy to dodge. He is easy to dodge. But he does kill you instantly. And he, and he does set the pace as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You only have a certain amount of time to kill the enemies in a area like this right here before he spawns and starts um, causing trouble. Yep. Like those ghosts. There we go. Uh, ooh. Wait, oh, we... no, oh, no, no, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, we got a big guy over here. You shot him right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> also, some of the upgrades have to be not only bought, but also unlocked by completing certain levels. Yes. I think it's just armor and weapons. Yeah, just armor and weapons, and it seems like it's really only a difficulty thing. Ooh! Yeah. Gotta get that key! Come on! There we go. Got it. Oh, come on! So this is how we do it over in Elf Country. There we go. Okay. Run, run, run! And one thing I really like is that every level seems to take roughly around 20 minutes or so. Yes, That's yeah. Not too long, not too short. I really like that part. Yeah, because you can just, um, you know, say if you don't have a lot of time, you can, you can still play a decent amount of the game mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in that time period. No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Got stuck on the tombs. There we go. And there is his gargoyle from that, uh, that demon thing. In fact, I don't even remember what the name of it was. He's impressed with me. <laughs> Why isn't he impressed with me? I have the crown. <laughs> also, this level is definitely not representative of the game. It's no. more like intro. We didn't get very far, but it definitely gets more hectic. Oh, it, yeah, it really does. We were stuck on one level, or we were really mm -hmm. stuck, but it took a while because there were spawners everywhere. Yeah. And the the, uh, the zombies, or mummies, whatever these guys are, grew out of control. There we go. Now he's impressed with you. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. No, no, I don't have the key. Oh, you oh, do. I do. Uh, <laughs> do I? Yeah, I do. Uh oh. But we need one more, apparently. <laughs> what? Wait, so did we miss one? Oh, there's one more. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Sorry, no passage for you. <laughs> you shall not pass. You shall not pass. Oh, we need the wizard for that one. Yep. I don't think I even want to play the wizard seriously. <laughs> yeah. No, Maybe I mean. Much later. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he does take some time to get used to. Mm -hmm, yeah. But he has a lot more abilities than the other three classes. Oh yeah, he's, he's got tons of elemental powers. It's like almost a different game as the wizard. Yes. Which is an interesting design choice. Yeah, I really like the way they designed the classes, because they're all pretty much mm. different from each other. You know, yeah, you, yeah. you have the Valkyrie, which is pretty much like Captain America. Mm. Um, you know, flinging her shield around. <laughs> yeah. Which is awesome. Thanks for the crowd. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll get it back before the end of this. <laughs> um, oh, we got a big break through this door. And it's actually the little things about the game that are quite fun. When you get knocked down, you drop the crown and it just rolls to the other end of the room. And yeah. someone else can pick it up. <laughs> yep, it's a nice friendly competition. Come on, give me the key. There we go. Oh, crap. Don't die. Nope, 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 nope. Mm, we lack more keys. Uh, yeah, they have... Wait, why do they have two? Nope, nope, nope. What are you waiting for? You can also taunt things by using the, uh... Well, on, for me, it's the D-pad. Oh, you can. I have no idea what it is for me. <laughs> I didn't actually see that on the control scheme. Magnificent. Magnificent. Oh, is this it? Yep, and now is the fun part. 
All right, let's see what happens. Did anybody get out with the crown? Oh, you did it! <laughs> I got the crown. <laughs> Unlucky. Good luck next time. <laughs> oh, boy. The crown bonus is actually quite significant as a percentage of total score. And one thing that confuses me about this game a bit is that there are achievements for, like, dying on spikes. And the more you die on spikes, the bigger bonus you get. Yeah. So damage reduction. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> There's, a, like, a hidden stat achievement uh, <laughs> progression that you do that, that's kind of underlying. And, and most of it involves you losing things, like the crown or dying or... It's just really great. It's kind of like the game feels sorry for you. Exactly. Oh, this guy died so many times on spikes, let's just give him a bonus. Exactly. Here we go. Oh, alright, we have a spawn right off the bat. So this is how every major level works. First you get a normal kind of level that you have to go through, then you get the ghost trying to kill you, and then you get this area with the spawners. Yeah, you get like the arena type. Aha! Oh, is this the, is this the one that we got stuck on? Like, there was just a, a huge amount of uh, uh, mummies around us? Yeah, I think so. Oh! No! The crown! And while we didn't finish the final level of the first act, or whatever you want to call it, I assume there's a big boss at the end. Yeah. Because that just makes sense. And I think we saw him earlier. <laughs> he didn't look very happy. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that... Oof. Yeah, that guy. Oh, my goodness. The bots are pretty damn good here, by the way. Fire! <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Yeah, some items seem to be significantly better for some parts of the game than the others. Like, that fire really takes out a bunch of them. Mm. And I assume you have to be really careful about the items you pick on higher difficulty levels. Thanks for the crown. <laughs> <laughs> really wasn't much I could do about that one. But this is definitely oh. very satisfying. It is very I satisfying. Oh, and I uh -oh. died. <laughs> Where's the crown? Give me the crown! Wait! Where'd the crown go? You took the ground with you. Yep, seems like it. If you couldn't have it, nobody could. Maybe the monsters took it. Yeah, maybe, maybe did the monsters, yeah. yeah. They might have. There are sometimes monsters with the crown. Yeah, I think that's how it, it... Yeah, I think that's how it spawns into the level. Mm -hmm. Is on one of these guys. Alright, only one spawner left. Yeah, like, there's the crown. No! Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh! That's the gauntlet in a nutshell. Gold! And now we get to spend our money for upgrades. Yes. We, have to <laughs> we get to spend it on uh, good things. Well, actually, I don't think I have enough to spend on good things, but... I'll take a look here. Sometimes it doesn't even show me the progress bar. Oh, because it's mm. so little. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would be it. <laughs> All right. I guess we weren't very good on that one. No, considering the person in first has 48... Mm. Oh, no, 480,000. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I wonder if some of these scores are legitimate. Yeah, I'm not... I mean, I, I think that on the spawner level, they could kind mm -hmm. of get away with it, but even still, 480,000 seems like a lot. Yeah, I do assume you get a higher score on higher difficulty levels, but we saw like 5 billion on one of the levels earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seems like a little bit too much. <laughs> it was a huge score. <laughs> it was almost uh, too good to be true. So, here's the vendor. We can equip any two items with active abilities. Yes. For a level. And upgrade them up to rank 3. Uh, but uh, obviously, you know, as you go through them, mm -hmm. they cost way, way yeah. too much. <laughs> I would need 24,000 to upgrade my demonic effigy to oh, level really? 3. really? <laughs> oh, that increases geez. gargoyle attack speed. Oh, that would be good, but yeah, that's a lot of money. The golden feather also increases move speed for all heroes at rank 2, so that's nice. Yeah, there's a lot of team ones. I like that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's definitely a game made with multiplayer in mind. That seems pretty obvious. It's definitely a lot more fun with friends than solo. Absolutely, yeah. So, that's the gauntlet in a nutshell. Pretty much. So, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>